Hey you guys, you ready for another story time? I don't know where I wanna go with this one. I really don't, but we're just gonna, we're gonna try, okay? So this is part one of Ashes to Ashes. We have the main character, her name is um, Christina, but we're gonna call her Chrissy for short. Um, Christina has two children. She's married with two kids. She's 26 years old. She's very shy, um, an introvert. She spends most of her time at Barnes and Nobles. <laughs> she loves to read. Um, she's married to a recovering um, pill addict. He was he used to be really bad on 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 taking oxy and you know just painkillers in general. He was he was involved in a really bad accident when he was in college, and so when he got prescribed painkillers. It became, you know, an addiction, unfortunately. But he's been clean for like four or five years, right? How old did I say Chrissy was? Chrissy's 26. I'm sorry. They have two children. They have, how old could the kids be? They have a two-year-old and a four-year-old. Perfect. Two-year-old and a four-year-old. They moved from St. Louis to Denver to get away from the hustle and bustle of, of the city and moved to a quiet suburb of Denver, all right? Again, her husband is the more outgoing type. He was the um, popular basketball player in school. Um, they met in college, okay? So with Chrissy being the quiet introvert, you know, she's a plain Jane. She's like, she's not, she's attractive, but she's cute. Picture Aerie Lennox, you know what I mean? Cute, just your average looking girl, right? So she's finding a hard time making friends because she's quiet, she tends to stick to herself. She's not out there on, you know. But that is until she meets the very attractive, popular, all around, all around girl, former cheerleader, whatever it may be. Her name is Daphne. Daphne is 29 years old. She's gonna be turning 30 and the birthday party is where we're gonna start this story. Okay, you guys, Daphne's birthday party when she's turning 30. Okay, Daphne is everything that Chrissy wishes she was. She's outgoing, she's energetic, she has a great body. She, honey, she does yoga, she runs five pounds a week. Um, she has three beautiful children, she's on the PTA. She's your typical soccer mom that seems like she has everything put together. The house is well organized. Um, even though Daphne is a stay-at-home mom on the side, she, um, helps people organize their their homes you know, whether it be organizing their kitchen organizing their closets their offices etc okay so she's a professional organizer all right so we're gonna cut to the eve of daphne's 30th birthday party dirty 30 she's very excited she got this bad red slinky dress that hugs all her curves give you a little bit more description of Daphne. Daphne is biracial, okay? Her dad is Filipino and her mom is black, okay? Daphne is your average height. Well, tall to me. She's 5'8", okay? She sits at 130, 140, right? So great little, great little shape on her. So it's the eve of her 30th birthday party. Of course, since this, she's the organizer, she's been planning everything herself, getting everything together. She's running around the house. You know, her hair is still in rollers. And her husband, what could her husband name be? Her husband is a brother. Her husband can be Martel. Yes, let's already get, we already know he's gonna be full of it if his name is Martel. <laughs> Martell is handsome, good looking, former football player. Now he's an attorney. Yes, get it all in, all right? So, Martell, he's looking at, he's like, why are you running around? Why don't you calm down? Daphne's like, I know, I know. I just want everything to be okay, Martell. So, you know, I went ahead. The babysitter is late. I told her to be here on time. I need for her to take these kids. They're in the room. They're loud. I can't concentrate. Martell is like Daphne. He comes around the island, the kitchen island. Her um, and he leans into her and he gives her a hug and tells her, you know, you just calm down. Everything will be perfect. You only turned 30 once. And so she lets out a long sigh. She's like, yeah, you're right. So she looks at him. She's like, are you sure we can afford all this? And he's like, yeah, we can. Anything for my baby. So he gives her a kiss on the forehead. She goes on about her way. Even though he told her to calm down and slow down, she doesn't listen. Of course she doesn't, you know. So she keeps running around, making sure everything's okay. Her birthday party is going to be outside, you guys. She did. She decorated. Now, she did hire um, event 
uh, decorators to do everything outside. It's very nice, okay? So Chrissy is at home. She's looking at herself. And Chrissy, unfortunately, has gained about 40 pounds between her two kids. And baby, she ain't bothered to take any of it off. I know that's right, Chrissy. Forget what he say. He gonna get this pooch. So, <laughs> so she's looking at herself and her frumpy outfit. And she's like, <sighs> And so her husband, what's his name, Kabila? Jimmy. Jimmy's like, Chrissy, are you ready yet? And she's like, yeah, I'm ready. I don't know if, y'all, she's wearing just a regular sundress with a white sweater over it. And she looks like your typical, again, she's your average chick, okay? Not everybody can be a Beyonce, let's just be real. Chrissy goes over and she grabs the present and her and her husband Jimmy walk over to the house. Now Daphne and her husband Martel only live three houses down so they walk over and they can already see the line of cars along the street and she, she can already tell the party is going. So now Daphne and her husband live in a um, two-story house okay. So this is a nice neighborhood in Denver okay. A very nice neighborhood. Chrissy doesn't see anyone that she knows so of course she go heads into the kitchen and sits down. Again she doesn't want to be in plain sight or whatever so She's there for a few minutes looking around. This one, she walks around towards the um, front of the house and she looks up towards the staircase and it's almost like everyone turns around and here comes Daphne. So Daphne is wearing this beautiful form figure red dress, you guys. So, child, Chrissy is holding her, you know, Chrissy's holding her, what is she drinking? Cranberry juice or something and she's looking at her with her like mesmerized at Daphne and Daphne comes down and Daphne goes straight to Chrissy because they're really good friends you guys and Daphne is like oh I'm so glad you came Chrissy and Chrissy looks at her and she's like you look so good you look absolutely beautiful Daphne and Daphne's like well thank you girl you look cute too she's like yeah well <laughs> So Daphne does her thing. She works the room. She goes through, she entered, you know, she talks to people. She tries to introduce Chrissy to other people from her husband's farm, but Chrissy's not, uh-uh. Um, Chrissy's husband, Jimmy, is already shooting it up, talking to people, having a good time, and you know, it is what it is. So the birthday cake comes out. They sing happy birthday to Daphne, and it is a spectacular evening, right? Winding down to us tonight, the babysitter drops the kids back all home because Daphne was like, you need to keep these kids and, and leave the house for a couple of hours. Babysitter dropped the kids back home. Daphne goes upstairs and she's, you know, taking her makeup off. And so her husband, Martel, comes around the corner. He's like, so do you want to talk about this now? And she looks at him. She's like, seriously, Martel, right now, especially on my birthday? She's like, no, I'm too tired. You know what? Let me go ahead, wash my face, wash up, and I promise you tomorrow we can talk about it. We don't know what they're talking about, okay? Cut over to Miss Chrissy. Uh, Chrissy really ain't got no makeup on. She just takes off her lipstick, the little lipstick that she put on, and she goes to bed. Her husband rolls over and she looks at him. Now y'all, they're having problems. Like I told y'all, she has a two-year-old and a four-year-old, but they haven't had sex in six months. Woo! Chrissy girl, you, Chrissy girl, you better get you something big for this. She just wished that she had more excitement or something going on in her life. It's just boring as hell. So she rolls over and go to bed, right? Chrissy awakens the next morning to her alarm going off and she gets up, she rolls out of bed. She puts on her clothes, she gets everything together. Now what job does Chrissy have? Chrissy is, she's a nurse. Okay, she's an LPN. She gets out of bed. She hurry up. She knows she has to drop the kids off at the daycare. You know, they're not in school yet, so they're, they're still in preschool. She drops the baby, gets the babies up, ready. They're so cute. Four and two-year-olds. We don't know their genders. She sees people walking down, and there's a lot of people outside, and she's looking around, and that's when she parks the car, and she tells the baby, just give me a second. You know, so she rolls the windows down. It's a nice, it's nice out, you guys. It's probably no more than 65 degrees right now. So she leaves the babies in the car and she looks down. She sees a couple of police cars already there. And she's like, what's going on? And one of the neighbors said, it seems like there's a body that's been found. And Chris is like, what? So Chris is trying to look through and she can see, she maneuvers her way. Chrissy's little. Chrissy's all of five feet, y'all. She's tiny. Okay, she's five one. She's going through and she's like, excuse me. And then she's like, what's going on? And that's when she can see Martel up ahead 
with his head down on a cop car. And she's like, oh my God. She's like, where's Daphne? Where's Daphne? She could hear Martell screaming, not my baby, not my baby. And Chris is like, oh my God, some, did something happen to Daphne? That's when another neighbor that is right in between them, right? She looks over, she goes over to Chrissy and she's like, oh my God, you won't believe what happened. And so Chris is like, well, what happened? She's like, something happened to Daphne and they found a burnt corpse. Chrissy cannot believe it. You know, hearing this from another neighbor and she looks over to Martell and she can see that the cops have already put a blanket over a corpse, but looks down and she can see a slipper peeking out from un underneath the sheet and she recognizes that as one of Daphne's slippers and that's when she completely breaks down sobbing and the other neighbor tries to console her. All right, you guys, that's part one of Ashes to Ashes.